All right, please join me in welcoming Colleen Albert. Thank you so much, Tatesh. Team Highland has been innovating and delivering incredible amounts of innovations yeah. over the last 12 months. You need, to, you need to make good on all of this innovation. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. All right, let's go. Hi, everyone. I'm excited to share what we've been working on for the past year here at Highland. Specifically, I'm going to share a healthcare-specific application of just some of our Content Innovation Cloud, or CIC, services. Everything I'm about to show you is live in production and available for you all to experience in Community Central. Our story today centers around a patient claims processing department at a medium-sized health system. They receive upwards of 2 million pieces of billing correspondence annually that they have to process manually. But we're going to intelligently automate their work, resulting in millions of dollars saved in recovered reimbursement. You ready to see it in action? Millions of dollars saved. Uh, sounds exciting to me. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's a big deal. Let me show you. As I log into the Content Innovation Cloud, you'll notice a fresh, modern take on UI. And I'll begin as a solution builder in our studio modeling interface. So for those that are new, this is the behind the scenes configuration of AI powered services. And we'll start with intelligent document processing or affectionately known as IDP, which is comprised of not just OCR tools, but AI agents that perform document separation, classification, and extraction. In the case of our healthcare package solution for revenue cycle correspondence, we've pre-configured some of the most common content types as classifications. But I want to show you just how easy it is to configure a new class. For my refund request, all I have to do is type the name of the document. I don't have to describe it. I don't have to configure a template. I don't have to train the agent. It's that easy. This type of time savings means that these solutions are up and running in a fraction of the time. So, so you just configured it. Just like that. This is not like Capture, which is weeks and months of configuration and training. No, not at all. Not even close. This is awesome. a whole new world of Capture. All right, now I'm going to import a few files to give it a test run. But before I do, I want to mention our Content Federation service. We designed the CIC, or the Content Innovation Cloud, as a single integrated cloud platform with all of you, our Highland customers, in mind. If you notice on base here in the upper right hand corner, we've included opportunities to import sample documents from on base to test or to import existing configuration, leveraging existing document types and connecting them to CIC IDP. So we've done all of the mapping work for you. So you're doing this with on base through the federation service, yeah. the same federation service architected for Alfresco, Nuxio, and other repositories. All the Highland platforms federated in this same way. And, and non-Highland. Yes, awesome. and non-Highland as well. So I'm going to browse to just a few documents on my desktop and import them into the system so we can give this a run. As the documents come into the system, you'll notice that our sample batch is composed of three documents. But I want to draw your attention to my local lockbox file. This is a single file, but it's composed of multiple individual documents. So let's get right to it. We'll go ahead and classify and separate this batch. And now our agents get to work separating that local backlog box file and appropriately classifying all of the individual documents. Now here's, my friends, where it gets good. I want to draw your attention to the additional documentation request that you see up here at the top. Now you'll recall this is the document type that we connected from OnBase. And our agent went ahead and used all of those OnBase keywords and automatically populated them with an incredible rate of accuracy. But it gets better. My favorite document in this batch is our insurance information form. And before I do any keyword extraction, I want to point out two things. The first is this document is in Spanish, and the second is that it is handwritten. OK, so keep that in mind. Now I'm going to ask our extraction agent to suggest fields for me. I'm not typing them all in. The agent is suggesting the fields. 
And it read Spanish handwriting and translated the keyword values into English. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> And if I want to add a keyword, no problem. All I need to do is ask, is this document been signed? And let the extraction agent know I want a yes or a no. Now what's interesting in this example is that this is not a value that appears as text on the document. We're asking the agent to reason or reasonably determine if the document has been signed. And now it gets to work extracting that value and we see yes, it lets us know it's been signed, and it provides us both an OCR and extraction confidence level that we can use downstream for further processing if we want a human to review. All this metadata, enriched metadata, and configurability all out of the box. All out of the box with IDP. And at this point, our IDP configuration is complete, and it's time to switch gears and move on to the processing. Now, the beauty of the CIC, our single cloud platform, is that IDP and Automate are tightly coupled. So one flows right into the other. In the case of our revenue cycle correspondence, we've used a predefined template based on the IDP classifications that we just configured. And within this process, I wanna highlight just a few things. The first is, thanks to our content federation service, we are automatically executing autofills and validating keyword data against OnBase. And in the case where we need a human user to review, we're building those validation screens automatically. Thanks to the CIC, our intake workload has been mostly automated, okay? So now we have all of the documents and we know what they are. And at this stage in the game, the documents are gonna enter OnBase to take advantage of our existing and extensive integration between OnBase and Epic. Now, what would happen next ordinarily is that a human user would have to review all of these documents and decide what to do. But given the volumes we're talking about, I mean millions of documents annually, how would they ever keep up? And the fact of the matter is most, most health organizations, they don't. For the non-healthcare folks, Epic being the electronic medical record, in electronic health record yeah. system, um, you know, commonplace in healthcare. Yeah, of record. Go ahead. So at this point, we have to agent enable it. We gotta take some of the workload off of our human users, which is what brings me to the biggest Highland headline of the summer, the release of Agent Builder. We can create AI agents to replace some of the manual steps in our process. And it's as easy as create agent, and here I'll just give it a generic test name, and now I describe the agent and tell it what to do in my own natural language. But in the interest of time, I wanna draw your attention to two agents that we've previously created. Our first routing and prioritization agent is built with Claude, but all, all of our content intelligence products are LLM agnostic, meaning that you can choose from industry leading models or bring your own. We're asking this agent to review the document, triage it, determine required actions, and set priority based on a policy document and guardrails. Our second agent in the chain is summarizing the request, outlining next steps, and taking action. And in this case, we're gonna use an on-base MCP server. You said MCP server. Can you share a bit about what an MC MCP server Yeah, absolutely. MCP was new to me too. It's an open interoperability standard that allows our agents and systems to stay connected in a secure and standardized way. And truthfully, this is new technology and it's pretty cool that we're already using it. All right, so at this stage of the game, my agents have been created. And so you might be wondering, how are the agents, Colleen, that you just created in the CIC going to replace human interaction within my existing on-base workflows? Well, all we have to do is connect the two. We're trying to move to... Yeah, there we go. Let me get to my... <laughs> and here we are in OnBase Studio. So taking a look at our billing and correspondence processing workflow, 
You'll notice that we've replaced our route to human step with two new agentic actions. One, for that routing and prioritization, and the second, for the summary and next steps. And now here's the cool part. In order to call this agent directly from my OnBase workflow, all I have to do is set the universally unique ID of the agent as a workflow property. And that's it. Now these two worlds are connected, and the agent can take over some of the human tasks. This is super powerful. So I'm a big believer. You've heard it from me before. We meet our customers where they are. There's millions of workflows globally, and you've taken a human step in a workflow yeah. and made it agentic, made the workflow agentic. Absolutely, and not just for Highland products, but we can insert one of these CI, CAI agents into any BPMN compliant tool. All right. Are we ready to see these agents in action in OnBase? Yes or yes? Yes. yes. <laughs> All right. So let's take a look here at my agentic OnBase workflow. I mean, doesn't that just sound cool? Agentic OnBase workflow. And we're here under the lens of a patient billing specialist that has to review all of the work that our agents have done. Now this interface specifically is our OnBase application builder, which you all should be using, by the way, to provide a personalized OnBase experience. All these gray boxes represent workflow queues or work view filters. And now I know what you're thinking. At first glance, it looks like there's a lot of work left to do, but remember our volumes, and also that the agents have done a lot of the work already to triage the documents and take many of the next steps for us. So let's take a look at one of our claims that requires additional documentation, specifically this high priority item for Mary. This, my friends, is still on base. Here, the agent has summarized the request, provided next steps, and given us a reason for the evaluation, which builds trust and confidence, also known as explainable AI. Now, this particular claim is the insurance company asking for additional documents before they, before they pay it. Now, what we've been able to do is have the agent find the documents in OnBase for us. I'm gonna let that sit out there for a second. The agent found the documents. Now all our human user has to do is review. <laughs> right? <laughs> now I could walk off this stage right now, hopefully, hopefully, having sufficiently blown the minds of everyone in this room, but I've got just one more thing to show. What if, dream with me a minute, what if we could prevent some of these additional documentation requests from entering the system in the first place because we provided the requested documentation up front. Well, wouldn't you know it, the Content Innovation Cloud can help with that too. In this case, knowledge discovery directly linked from our OnBase App Builder and all of our other OnBase clients allows me to ask questions of my content and receive insightful answers. Think of these agents on the left as content specialists with domain expertise. My patient billing specialist has access to my additional documentation requests and is built with Metalama. And so now I'll ask my question, and bear with me as I copy and paste here, which procedures, which medical procedures most frequently require additional documentation? And now our agent gets to work determining which procedures require them the most. This is a task no human user could ever do in a reasonable amount of time. And now we have insights to refine our process, which means that the hospital gets paid sooner with a lot less overhead, and I think most importantly, it means our patients receive the best possible care. And that's what it's all about. This is super powerful. You all know us, we've innovated together, to drive operational workloads, but from unstructured data, we're now also delivering analy analytical outcomes. Yeah, absolutely. The Highland teams that work on this, that worked on this, have absolutely outdone themselves, and I'm proud to be part of it. And Thank you, you so have much. outdone yourself, as always. <laughs> A round of applause for Colleen. <laughs> Nicely done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.